in continuation to the previous video here we see that okay the value of x is determined to be minus square root 3 by 2. Now quadratic equation means it must have two roots. So in this case both the roots will be equal and each of them is minus square root of 3 by 2. Therefore the roots are minus square root of 3 by 2 minus square root of 3 by 2. Now look, let us look at the fourth one, that is Roman 4. Twice x squared plus x plus 4 equal to 0. So here, your coefficient of x squared is 2, a is 2. The coefficient of x is 1. So here b is 1, the constant term is 4. Now let's see whether the roots of your quadratic equation exist or not. So d will be b square minus 4ac, 1 square minus 4 times a, that is 2, times c, that is 4. So 1 minus 4, 2 times is 8, 8, 4 times is 32. So 1 minus 32 gives you minus 31. Now being a negative quantity, your discriminant is less than 0. And we know that if discriminant is less than zero, then the real roots does not exist and hence we cannot determine them. Therefore, real roots or simply your roots does not exist. And so it cannot be determined. Let us look at the next question, that is question number three. Find the roots of the following equations. No method is being specified, so we can work out with quadratic formula or by factorization, that is the method of splitting the middle term, or we can do it by completing the square. Now, the first question in this question number three that is given x minus 1 by x equals to 0. Okay? The given condition is x is not equal to 0. Why x is not equal to 0? Because when you substitute x as 0, then your given equation becomes undefined. It, it, it will no longer be a quadratic equation. The equation will be undefined. So the condition is x should not be 0. Now, the given equation of, is x minus 1 by x equal to 3. Now, it, does not, it doesn't look like a quadratic equation. So we have to reduce it into quadratic equation. So how can we reduce it? We just simply take LCM and cross multiply. Then your given expression will be reduced to quadratic equation. Hence we can apply the quadratic formula to find out the roots if they exist. So when we take LCM, LCM of 1 and x is x. Here the first term would be x squared. Okay, the denominator is 1, so x into x gives you x squared minus here. The LCM and denominator are equal. They cancel out each other, so the numerator is 1. Now, we cross multiply. x squared minus 1 times 1 is simply x squared minus 1 equals to 3 times x, 3x. So x squared, this 3x, you transpose it to the left side as minus 3x. After that, the constant term minus 1 equal to 0. So, the given expression has been reduced to a quadratic equation. Now, in order to determine the roots, let's see whether they exist or not by checking the value of d. So, here the coefficient of x squared is 1. x squared 
can be rewritten as 1x squared. So here a is 1. Coefficient of x is given to be minus 3. So b is minus 3. The constant term is minus 1. Clear. So d will be b squared minus 4ac. b is minus 3. So minus 3 squared minus 4 times a that is 1 times c that is minus 1. Minus 3 squared gives you 9. Minus into minus gives you plus. 4 times 1 times 1 is 4 which is equal to 13. Now 13 being a positive quantity, your d is greater than 0. Therefore, your real roots exist. Hence, we can determine them by using quadratic formula. That is, x equals to minus b plus minus square root of d by twice a. So, minus b, b is given to be minus 3. So, we write here b to be minus 3 again plus minus square root of d. D we have determined it is 13 by 2 times say the coefficient of a square is 1 or of x square is 1. So let's check. Yes, it's correct. Therefore, this gives you minus into minus gives you plus plus minus square root of 13. 13 cannot be broken up into smaller factors. So we just okay, give as it is by 2. So either your x will be 3 plus square root of 13 by 2 or your x is 3 minus square root of 13 by 2. So those are the two roots of your given quadratic equation. Let's see another one that is question number 3 Roman 2. Given expression is 1 by x plus 4 minus 1 by x minus 7 is equal to 11 by 30. So what we have to do is first we have to reduce this given expression into a quadratic equation. How do we do? We take LCM and cross multiply as we have done in the previous question. Now let's take the LCM. Now, if the denominators are not multiple of each other, or if one of the denominator is not a multiple of the other, then the LCM would be the product of the denominators. Like example, let's say what is the LCM of like 3 and 7. Now we see that none of them is a multiple of the other. In that case, your LCM will be 3 times 7, that is 21. Similarly, here, whatever values of x you choose, x plus 4 and x minus 7 will not be multiple of each other. Okay? So in that case, the LCM will be the product of denominators. That is, first denominator into your second denominator. Now, you divide your LCM by the first denominator. Then, x plus 4, x plus 4 cancels out. So we are left with x minus 7. So x minus 7 times 1 would be x minus 7 since it is enclosed in the bracket so let me write the parenthesis minus you divide this product by the second denominator then x minus 7 cancels out and we are left with x plus 4 so x plus 4 times 1 is x plus 4 okay that is how we do go to 11 by 30 now let's simplify it further x minus 7, now minus x minus plus minus 4. Here we will find the product x, x times x square. x in the minus 7 gives you minus x plus 
4 times x gives you 4x plus minus minus 4 times 7 gives you 28 that is equal to 11 by 30 x minus x equal in magnitude but opposite in sign they will cancel out each other so minus 7 minus 4 gives you minus 11 divided by x square minus 7x plus 4x okay like terms so minus 7 plus 4 gives you minus 3x minus 27 in an algebraic expression we can add or subtract only the like terms which is equal to 11 by 30 now we can cross multiply so before we cross multiply to make it even simpler we can cancel 11 from both the numerators so 11 1 times is 11 11 1 times is 11 so we get minus 1 by x squared minus 3x minus 28 equals to 1 by 30 so let's cross multiply x squared minus 3x minus 28 times 1 is x squared minus 3x minus 28 equals to minus 30. So x squared minus 3x minus 28, you transpose this term as this. So that gives you x squared minus 3x plus minus 28 plus 30 gives you plus 2, which is equal to 0. Now first, let us check whether the real roots of your quadratic equation exist if so we find okay them using the quadratic formula so here your coefficient of x squared is one coefficient of x is minus three the constant term is two so d will be given by b square minus four ac so b is minus 3, so minus 3 square minus 4 times 1 times c. Minus square being gives us a positive quantity, 3 square gives you 9. 4, 2 times is 8, so d is 1 and 1 is greater than 0. Since d is greater than 0, therefore real roots exist and hence we can determine them. Here I have re rewritten the values of a, b, c and the discriminant d. So let us determine the roots, that is, x is given by minus b plus minus square root of d by twice of a. Now here minus from the formula, b is again minus 3. So we write the value of b within the parenthesis, okay, plus minus square root of d, d is 1, okay, divided by 2 times a, a is 1. Minus minus gives you plus 3 plus minus square root of 1 gives you 1 divided by 2. So either x will be 3 okay, plus 1 by 2 or x can be 3 minus 1 by 2. So that is 4 by 2 which gives you 2 as your first root. And here this implies x equals to 3 minus 1 gives you 2. So by 2 so x gives you 1 which gives you the second root of your given quadratic equation. So that's all okay, for today. I hope uh, you are learning something from this video. So you please study hard and make the best use of your time. Thank you.